everyone welcome to my channel the magical maven my name is heather and today is a horoscope spread reading for the sign of cancer whether it's your sun moon venus or rising sign or if you're on a cusp so how i did it is in the middle i have cancer your sign and then i have one card for each of the 12 houses of the zodiac all are faced towards me right now. Once I touch upon an, uh, one of the houses, I'm gonna turn it around to the camera towards you so you know which one I'm referring to. I don't read reversals. Um, this is just something um, I've never done. I just go by intuition and what I get. Also, um, I do have clarification cards for each of the houses as well as a bonus card. I forgot to unveil the bonus card in the last reading, so I'm gonna do it now so I remember. <laughs> Um, but we'll talk about it at the end. So we have Ace of Swords. So we'll put that over here so I don't forget. And then also I have a Blessed Bee, well, two Blessed Bee cards, Oracle cards, as well as a few tea leaf writing cards. I will pull at the end. And then also if this video um, resonated, I do have an extended reading, which will be um, the details will be in the description box below. So I'll use the Gilded Tarot, um, which is this deck here, to further go into themes that were touched upon that came um, up in the reading, um, just like the main themes, anything that was really highlighted, as well as pull cards from Romance Angels, Angels Answers, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, and the Heal Yourself reading cards. So um, jumping in, and then yeah, just take what also, take what resonates. This is a collective reading. Um, I do want to mention that because there might be certain things that don't match with you. Um, and again, this could be an, something coming in the future, or maybe it's just not your message at all. So just take what resonates. And then, like I said, you might want to check your other placements as well. So I think um, jumping in the first house, which is the self, you have the king of wands. So wands is fire energy. So even if you, as a cancer, are a water sign, Again, whether you're watching for your sun, moon, Venus rising, you might have some fire in your chart. And even though this is a king and the card is depicted by a man, this could be male or female. You know, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a man just because it's a man depicted in the card. Something, it was funny because when I, I just put the cards down and was like organizing them, you know, trying to um, align them, but I wasn't paying too much attention to the cards because I wanted to wait till I actually did this reading. But one thing when I got when I saw this card, and I haven't gotten this before, but I was getting, oh, what a big, strong man you are. And that's just funny because I always like saying whatever comes through intuitively. So whether, you know, you're a man and this is something you like to hear or, you know, um, you're a female and you like to hear that you're, you know, big and strong and powerful or you, you know, are looking for that in a, um, a partner if you're interested in, you know, men. Again, like, you know, take what resonates. Um, but, you know, um, or if you're interested in women, maybe, you know, you like a woman who's really strong and in her power. So, again, however this resonates, but this is something that did come up just with this card alone. So, for clarification, we have judgment. And, again, this is a self. So, again, this is more, more so your energy. Like, you like being strong and powerful or wish to be strong and powerful um, and with this judgment, okay, for some of you, this could be about, I was getting like about not wanting to see something or, um, Some of you, this could be like this conflict and it could, again, it could be within the self since it's the first house. I'm getting like conflict resolution, but you're might not wanting to see the truth in the situation. So some of you might be questioning certain things at this time about your life, where it's going, or if this is about a relationship, you're questioning internally, where is this going? Even though, um, Again, this is the first house of the self. Um, I'm also getting error in judgment. So you might be questioning your own judgment, um, you know, whether you make good choices or not. Um, with wands energy being fire and then with you being having cancer in your chart being water, those are feeler signs. So, and even at cancer, it says right here, I feel. So maybe you feel like you don't make the best choices based on those feelings. So you're trying to have more judgment, more clarity, trying to see things for what they are. 
and and it's and I'm getting some about when push comes to shove. So maybe this is something that you know you've been confronted with even for a while, and now it's finally kind of okay. Opened your eyes, and you're like, okay, I you know I need to get better. And again, take what resonates. So we have the second house of the zodiac, um, which is finances, career, or not career. Sorry, finances, um, money. Page of Pentacles and clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So it's funny, in the money house, um, this, you know, with finances, you are getting the Pentacles, which, you know. So, okay, I'm hearing blessing from above. So, and not to say it's just from a blessing from above, because with the Seven of Pentacles, it is about um, hard work you've been putting in and efforts. And with this Page of Pentacles, you are having um, communication coming in regarding um, what seeds you have planted. However, I feel like this could be like a slow moving process. Maybe you, there was a delay or you feel there's been a delay. The pentacle energy is stable and consistent. However, it is more slow moving. So just recognizing that your finances are building up, but again, it's just taking some time. But you might hear of some news. Um, maybe this is um, a job or an opportunity or an offer that's gonna help lead you to more um, financial success in the future. The third house um, of communication. So we have the devil card and the eight of wands. Okay. And it's interesting how these <laughs> like wands and hitting the devil. So definitely with communications, um, watch your words. For some of you, this could be like um, watch your temper, watch um, your temperament, um, you know, anger. Um, for some of you, this could be about, um, I'm getting someone trying to get under your skin. So maybe this is why, you know, watching that. This could also be um, someone trying to reach out, looking for a fight. Um, this could be someone who's toxic with this double energy, trying to come in. I'm also getting all hot and bothered. And I'm also getting you might be hit with a lot of communications at once. So yeah, it could be like out of nowhere, out of the blue. Um, it could be like one after the other. So I would just be mindful. Um, this could go back to, again, with that King of Wands and that judgment. This is where you need to exercise caution, use your best judgment. The fourth house of home and family, we have the Fool card, clarified by the Knight of Cups. Okay. Okay, um, I'm getting more of, sorry, I'm just trying to focus on, Okay, it's interesting because, okay, now I'm, I'm being guided to go back to the devil card. And because I was getting the message that temptation is at its peak. So again, like, because with the school card, this is the card of new beginnings, right? So with your home life, um, and this is, this is home and family, right? So Okay, so some of you, if you lived with a partner before, or if this could be like you were living with family or a family member, um, you know, maybe there was a situation that um, now where you're on your own and you're starting new again, and you know, you're um, needing to focus on your own needs. 
But again, like there's that possibility, even though you've started your own new beginning, it's like, and you want this new direction, it's still like there's that temptation being presented. So sometimes even um, if each, even though each house is separate, sometimes it'll draw me back to cards that we've already went over. So just FYI, because yeah, I, at first I was like, okay. And then I was getting this message again regarding this. So these were kind of tying together. Again, take what resonates. So then we have the fifth house that deals with casual romance, creativity, kids. So we have the hanged man followed by the world. So you got two majors here, major arcana. Okay, so when it comes to romance, um, you could definitely feel like, okay, this could be this clarity too, because sometimes the hanged man with being in suspension, it's kind of like reviewing things, right? And that's definitely what we got with the judgment. So you might feel like things are on pause right now, but because you're trying to complete a cycle, you're trying to wrap up a cycle. And it's interesting because the Fool card you got in the Home and Family, which is the beginning of the Fool's Journey, the beginning of the Major Arcana, and the World is the last one. Okay, um, for those of you who are um, involved in creative pursuits, you might feel that there's been a um, pause on things. Maybe you feel um, blocked. And maybe it's not um, so much an inner block, it's like a block externally um, in life where you feel like you haven't been able to give things your all, but it's because that there's been things going on outside of you that you're needing to resolve that need to come to conclusion. The sixth house of work and health and service. So we have page of wands clarified by the 10 of cups. So work is actually looking promising. Um, there could be a new offer, new offers coming in, new opportunities. Um, opportunities that are make you feel emotionally content and joyful. Also regard your health wise, it looks like um, regaining momentum and momentum and vitality. Again, because if you are in your heart space, you're doing what's making you feel fulfilled and connected. I'm also getting well rested. So again, this could be like if you did, now you're on your own, you know, you were in a, um, you know, you were living with someone before or in a family, um, living with family before, and maybe, you know, um, now that you're on your own, you're happy, um, you're in a better environment even. So some of you maybe could have even, um, if, you, if you weren't living with someone or weren't in a family situation, maybe just where you lived, it wasn't a good environment. And now that you're in a better, or going to be, whether you j just moved or going to be moving, um, it's like this better environment, um, you're getting more rest. You're feeling more rested, you have more energy, vitality, or will be again. <coughs> the seventh house of relationships, partnerships, marriage, you have the two of wands clarified by the 10 of swords. So definitely, um, whether this is going on currently or this is a recent past, you know, this is showing, um, a, you know, um, a breakup, a, you know, a, a, you know, in partnership and, um, you know, whether you're in a relationship, um, married or, you know, this could even be a business partnership or it could be both, both a business partnership as well as a romantic take what resonates. It's going to be based on your situation, but this definitely um, is something that has ended. Look at this ton of swords. It was needing to end. So whether you are already there and this has already happened, you're still in that energy or this is coming and you, you probably know this. It's just maybe, um, I'm getting releasing dead weight. Okay. So definitely if you had ties with this person in any way, whether, you know, you, sh you know, um, you know, if you were married or if you lived together, you know, you shared finances, you have kids, you know, whatever it was, it's like there might be these ties and that's kind of maybe preventing you um, from getting out of this, meaning like it's, it's just not so simple to like walk away maybe in a sense, 
but there's definitely this ending that has taken place and you need to like, you both need to part your ways. And I'm also getting doing what's best for you. And I'm not saying that in a selfish way. I'm just saying that like, it doesn't help yourself or the other person if you're staying for the wrong reasons. Okay, so we have the eighth house of the Zodiac, uh, sex, death, taxes, inheritances, other people's money, the occult. So we have the four of cups clarified by the nine of pentacles. Okay, it's interesting because nothing, I'm getting about the ship sunk, but it's funny because there's nothing in these cards about a ship. But I'm just like, that's why I said I go off intuition what I'm hearing. And so the ship sunk <laughs> and Okay, so I think this is regarding this ending, this death. And again, whether it's relationship, um, business partnership, you know, your living situations, the ship sunk. And it's like, you're just kind of staying in this energy. And so if you're trying hard, to, like your best to move forward, because this is like my single independent woman or my single independent man card. And, you know, just living an abundant life, you know, and, you know, look how happy and radiant she looks. So even if you're doing well in life, there's still a part you can't push past because you might be still in this energy of the, the ship that sank and you're still, there's a part of you left there. This could be about, um, you know, if you gave your power to someone, um, someone's, um, you know, energetically attached to you, draining your energy, take what resonates, but definitely, and this could be you just like sitting and thinking about this or letting, sitting in that stew, like letting it, you know, um, mulling it over. So this is where, you know, needing to get out of this, letting this, you know, um, whatever died, let it die and let it, and I, I don't mean like actual death. I mean like, cause even with the death card itself, you know, it's like, it's about change ultimately, right? So whatever, you know, was, has ended, let that be the end and like, do what you need to, to wrap things up and to clear it. So, you know, um, Okay, also I'm getting, like, how I said, like, you know, sitting and letting it stew or whatever. Um, and then I was getting someone stirring the pot. So, again, with this devil energy, you need to just be careful. Because definitely, like, someone might not be happy that the ship sank. And that might not be you. <coughs> and I'm getting, I'm tired, I'm drained. So, again, like, this is where you have to call back your energy to you. Cause like I said, with this health, this, you know, you will get this energy momentum back. And I also heard freedom just now. And so that was interesting. So we have the nine of, um, the ninth house, sorry. <laughs> this deals with education, travel. You have the queen of wands. And then we have the knight of wands, which is interesting. And, well, it's interesting because in the first house, you had the king of wands. So definitely this could be um, a counterpart in the sense since king of queen of wands and queen of wands go together. However, right here, they're showing up as the queen of wands and knight of wands. So like I said, if you have fire in your chart, um, and if there's someone that you had been involved with who also has fire in their chart, and if they don't have fire in their chart, just maybe the energy they embody. Um... So maybe, you know how I said for some of you, oh, what a big strong man you are. Maybe some of you aren't, haven't stepped up into this king energy yet. And maybe you still are this knight of wands energy. Again, whether male or female, and your person's a queen. So again, take it as, you know, even if you are a female watching for a male here, you know, or 
you know, a male watching for a male or a female watching for a female or whatever the, you know, again, it doesn't have to be exactly what it is. All I'm saying is that there's possibly these two people who aren't on the same level. Someone's like, like king queen status and someone's just kind of below that. But it's like, and I feel like it's maybe you in this situation, but again, it could always be vice versa. Maybe, you know, you need to rise up to meet this person on their level. So that's one scenario. However, the nights don't always have to be about a person. Sometimes it's about the movement, the energy. So for some of you, this is just about, if this isn't about a person, um, but there's another, um, you know how I said sometimes different placements could go together. Um, I'm going to have to, there's one reason why I thought this could be a person, this Queen of Wands. But again, for some of you, if this doesn't resonate, this could just be about you. You may be needing to branch out and get out there and travel and explore and bring this new life back in. So for some of you, maybe you do need a vacation. You need to, you know, go travel, um, have some fun and get out of, you know, um, this past energy, <coughs> you know, with, um, so it's like, you know, you might, if you have fire heavily in your chart, it's interesting because then you have the king of wands and you have the queen of wands and then you're, you know, this knight of wands energy as well. However, okay, that's something too. If, if this isn't regarding travel or it's, this isn't a regarding person, regarding education, because education isn't just like schooling, right? And studies. It's like, this is a, could, could be the school of life and the fire, the wands energy is fire, right? The fire element and fire is p not just, some people say it, it could be destructive, but it also could be purifying. For some of you, this is like a learning process and you um, needing to let this fire purify you to move forward and to level up and to make new strides in your life. So just take what resonates. The 10th house of career, we have the three of cups and the high priestess. So for some of you, this could be about um, a celebration coming. Um, so maybe within your work, you're being um, honored or I got even nominated. For some of you, this could just be about happy times, you know, maybe like in your career. Like, I mean, if you are watching this for December, of course, you know, holiday parties and all that. And but I'm getting this is more career. So even networking you know, um, meeting people in business, you become friends, but it's just overall a good energy. Um, with this high priestess, I was getting like unmask, unveil. So maybe for some of you, I think Taurus got a similar kind of message. So if you have Taurus in your chart, you might want to check that out. Um, that's not for everybody, but there might be something you're presenting to the world in December. And it's like, maybe under like wraps or secret, like you've been secretive about it and now you get to show it to everyone. And it's like, so it could be even some kind of party or something where you unveil it like a coming out party, but for your work. <laughs> okay. And then for the 11th house, which deals with friends, groups, Social interactions, acquaintances, dreams, hopes, aspirations. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay. So, okay. Before I get into this, I'm just going to say this so I don't forget. Something that I saw, like I said, I was trying not to pick up anything until I got into the reading. However, um, I just laid the cards out and then made sure that they were <laughs> all um, arranged properly. For some of you, I got the, this is two different people, you know, because you had the king of wands, right? And first house of self, then you have a queen of wands here and then the queen of pentacles here again. However, whatever genders, you know, or, or you know, um, non-conforming gender roles, whatever, you know, take what resonates. But I'm getting that this could be you and this could be you, this king of wands, and then this could be two different people, queen of wands, queen of pentacles. And it's like you could be torn between them. And the Queen of Pentacles is maybe like the safe bet or someone you feel like is um, the most logical choice. 
you know, maybe, um, okay. And then I'm going to go to the queen of wands. The queen of wands is maybe who you feel, um, emotionally connected to, passionate about. You feel, um, that connection, you feel that desire. And so it's maybe like this matter of head versus heart. So if this is something you're dealing with, it's like, this is maybe where you're needing to make some decision. And maybe that's where you're in judgment and trying to get clarity on making the best choice for you because you're like feeling like, oh, who do I want to be with kind of energy, which is interesting because again, in your seventh house, you did have the two of wands. So maybe again, this could be this choice now and the Ten of Wands, it's like maybe if this wasn't already a relationship that ended or needing to end, like if that didn't apply to you, this might be like you have this choice to make and it's like you no longer can't deny this or you can't, you know, just leading these two parties on, you know, whether, you know, um, Okay, and it's funny too because now I'm being drawn to the Three of Cups and like a possible third party situation. So I think it's, you know, you possibly, and it's like you needing to choose. For some of you, even this could be a small portion, you might like out and about or um, in a social interaction or event or friends. I mean, it could be even be presented where all this kind of comes, um, you know, they're at the same time at the same place, which definitely could be, you know, this possible um, issue that was coming through with the communications. I'm not, that would only maybe be like, that's more rare. So it's not going to be for everybody. Some For some of you, this is just like a matter of you like getting in touch with who you're really wanting. Like, and it's interesting Let's see. I'm just looking at the cards around because it's like more and more messages. Okay, it's funny because, okay, so if this situation um, makes sense to you, I'm going to get into this real quick. So the Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Hermit card can relate to Virgo. So this could be Virgo or someone with Virgo in their chart. The Queen of Wands is Fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And again, Knight of Wands, same. So this could be about whether they have these signs, this are the sign or have these signs in their chart, or it could just be about the energy in their body. And... And again, like it could just be as simple as you feel for this person. This is what, who you're passionate about, but this is who you think is better logically speaking, or, um, you know, maybe business wise, you see them as like, oh, um, success for some reason. So maybe they're well to do or well off or well connected Um, this, since, you know, so this could be an acquaintance even, um, this could be a friend. So maybe it, like they're a friend and you like have considered, oh, well maybe sh I should date them because, um, they got it together. <laughs> like, it's just something like, and they could even be someone that maybe, um, it's interesting because they could even be far away right now with this hermit, this, um, retreating so maybe it's someone that um you haven't seen for a while even but they could again they could be in your social social circle a friend a colleague acquaintance so some of you might know this person well some of you might just know of them but then yeah your queen of wands is in the ninth house. So again, this could be far away too. So both these off, these, um, not offers, both these, um, partners or potential partners might not even be in the picture. So maybe it's not even like you're dating them. It's just, um, 
Okay, so for some of you even, maybe there was a relationship that ended and they're out of the picture or, you know, but their energy could still be lingering. But then you might have two other prospects here and you're not necessarily dating, but they're both um, around you or, you know, like you've considered them both. So maybe they don't even know, like, you know, maybe this, you know, person doesn't even know that you're interested. It's just like these you feel are your prospects. So it could, it's possible that this could be like one, two, three, and this could even be your three of cups that there's these three different, you know, you have their past person that you're, um, that's, you know, over with the shimp sunk person. And then you have these two here. And... And for those of you who this doesn't resonate, if this is about you socially, if this is the Queen of Pentacles is you in this situation, it's about you hermiting and you retreating and not maybe feeling so sociable. Like you're just wanting to work on your work and you know you need some time out to rest because you feel like whatever had happened really aged you actually. And not that, you know, not saying you're old, but like you've gone through a lot where you felt like it just took years off your life. Again, going back to that um, devil energy. And <clears throat> so, yeah, take what resonates, um, different scenarios. Then we have um, the 12th house, which is hidden, the um, subconscious, the unconscious, the, um, you know, what you need to be aware of. So we had the eight of cups and then we had the four of pentacles. So, yeah, definitely things have closed out. Things have ended. Um, things have died. Things have left have released but again like you're not fully releasing them so this is going back to that energy of the ship sank but you're still you know at the bottom of the ocean kind of thing and and here again like look it's like the eight of cups you're needing to walk away you're needing to leave things behind but then you're carrying all this dead weight and i god what sign did i say that for and i actually think this came out like in multiple readings so it could have even been aries Taurus and Gemini all need to let go stuff. And I mean, it makes sense. It's like we all have things that we need to let go of in the collective. So definitely, and I think, again, this is like even you might not even realize that this um, is being carried around. You might feel on the surface or on a conscious level that you're doing good, you're doing fine, you've let go, but really there's still things you haven't. So it could be energetically, again, subconscious, unconscious, you know, but it's like, yeah, you definitely have to let go. Okay, this is something else too. I'm also being drawn to how the Queen of Pentacles is by the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands is by the Four of Cups. So again, it's like, if this is two different parties we're talking about, we have the Eight of Cups is a Queen of Pentacles. So maybe for some of you, this could be someone that you were involved with but maybe you're still friends with them. You're still hanging out with them. They're still in the picture for whatever reason. It could just be um, out of logic. You know, it could just be like, oh, well, you know, they were good to me. They didn't harm me. Um, you know, oh, I see no reason to like, you know, like cut them out of my life. I'm just going to keep them around as a friend or whatever. You know, we get along or, you know, it's, it's not like, again, it's not this passion. It's just like, oh, we get along or you know, they, they get along with my friends or we, you know, are in a group of friends or we work together or whatever. So even though this person you need to let go of, they're still kind of around. And I do believe that if you keep exes in your life, um, they could, it could energetically block you for someone new coming in because there's so much in their, your energy field. So that it might be something for some of you to think about. And then it's interesting with the Four of Cups over here and this Queen of Wands. This is a card of discontentment, boredom, also disillusionment, disillusionment, sorry. Um, so maybe for some of you, maybe you're lost in thought about this person and also like lost even in feeling because the Cups energy is emotions. And it's funny that both we're having Cups next to both of these Queens. So for some of you, you might, um, you might just be thinking about this a lot or even having um, this recollection or feeling, but you're not actually doing anything about it. And for some of you even, because remember I got the ship sunk. So this could go both ways, you know, the ship sunk, you know, with someone that you did 
end things with more recently, but maybe the ship sunk with this Queen of Wands. And so even if you're wanting that back, it's just kind of like this thing where you feel like, should I go back? Even though this is what I want, this is what I feel emotionally, you just don't want, care to move or want to move. So again, take what resonates. Um, the bonus card was, we had the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, it's interesting, all these options, right? And it looks like there was possibly different romantic um partners or possibilities or whatever you want to call them on the table and with this ace of swords this is maybe again going back to where you have to make a choice you know going you know cutting down from seven to one and not to say that there's all you know you have all these seven cups but definitely like and this kind of um, maybe isn't just about romance. This could be about there's maybe a lot of things that you find appealing or to your liking. And but ultimately, like we only have so much time. We only have so much energy. You know, we could only choose so many things. And so for some of you, it's like you need to make a decision because if you don't choose, then you're going to lose be, um, possibly these offers or these opportunities because you didn't make a choice. You were just like lost in all these choices and a kid in the candy store. And then you realize, oh, okay, well, I didn't choose anything. So, but maybe some of you are stuck making the choice or the right choice. But this is where you have to go within because if you got in touch with yourself and knew, um, you would, and your higher self, you would know what really feels right to you. Okay. And then your blessings for December. We have a blessing on your day. And a blessing on the senses that the gift, um, that gift the world to you. So what I was getting really is that, like this is about more this blessing of being present, of being grateful. Um, again, for those of you who were in a toxic situation or a partnership or living situation, you know you're coming out of that, you know that ton of swords energy. Remember, so this is now you just being peace at peace and having gratitude and being grateful for being at where you're at now or how far you come, you know, once you get to that peace, that harmony. So again, whether that's um, relationship, home living situation, both. But I was getting more about the home family relationships. Um, yeah, definitely more personal connections. And I'm getting for some of you are just saying, I just want to be, you know, like, look how she's just happy, like relaxing there against the tree. And I'm also getting like 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 life coming into color, kind of like in the Wizard of Oz, you know, where everything's black and white. And then once she, you know, dreams of Oz, you know, it's like everything's bright and colorful. So maybe life was dull and it's becoming more back, like back in full color, back to life when your senses where you feel more alive again. Okay, and the tea leaf reading cards, we have elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So remember with the hermit, what I said, for some of you feel like, you know, some, you grew some years that you, you know, aged, but um, this, what you've gone through, and I'm getting turmoil, it's again, like you have become wiser, and the elephant never forgets. So, and that's not to say that you don't forgive, like you should get forgive that, but that doesn't mean you forget. So, you know, and you becoming wiser. And again, like that long journey, physical or mental, like some of you have been through the ringer, you've been through a lot, but you know, doing your hard work at the end, you know, it's like you will come in to it, like you will receive your rewards once you do this hard work. So I think for this journey, this definitely has been a lot of what you've gone through and you know you you like even though you feel like you've aged it's like it's the wisdom it's the, so you do have the horseshoe which is good luck which is promising okay and it's funny because okay not to scare some of you but it was funny like 
I was getting like almost like someone saying good luck like you're gonna need it so and it's funny because I put it next to again this communication card with this double card so if there was someone toxic that you would um again lived with or you know whether it was platonic romantic or there was this relationship um this could be about this like you know being like oh good luck because if this come, tries to come back into play but again, it's not for everybody. It was just that was like an um, alternate thing. But again, it's like you're not going to need luck. If you know that this is a potential coming and you just make sure that you're using your best judgment and not getting caught up in this. Okay, and then we have pale. Time to get out of a situation. So it's interesting that that came out. <laughs> And then we had chair filled, someone new is entering your life. So if you are on the cusp of Gemini Cancer or have Gemini in your chart, check it out. It's funny because they actually got the chair empty and you got chair filled. And But again, with the pale, you need to get out. So this is where you have to clear some of that past energy or that past person to have this you know, um, new person coming in. And again, for some of you, uh, like you having those options. So... Okay, again, this, like, what I said about the energetic thing, it's like you need to clear those who don't serve you to, you know, make room for this person coming in. So, I don't know if this new person is actually a new person or someone we have on the table. Um, again, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, I am going to do the extended, so then we could see in deeper detail some of the things that came up in this reading, as well as go over your heal yourself oracle cards magical mermaids and dolphins angel answers and romance angels so um if you like this video if it resonated feel free to like comment share subscribe to my channel the magical maven as well as follow me on instagram the magical maven to see when i'm posting more videos and again feel free to check out not only your sun but your moon venus and rising as well as on if you're on a cusp and i send you all love and light bye